Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Pointing is the art of finishing the motor joint in the exposed machinery work with a suitable cement or the lime motor to protect the joint from the weather effect and also to improve the appearance of the building structure. The pointing work can be done with the help of the lime motor or the cement motor. For the lime motor, the proportion of their constituent material like lime and sand or surkhi should be 1 is to 2. That is a one part of a lime and two part of a sand or surkhi. For the cement motor, the proportion of their constituent material like cement and sand should be 1 is to 3. That is a one part of a cement and three part of a sand. And the water proportion for the both lime motor as well as the cement motor varies from 0 0.44 to 0 0.5 times the weight of the cement. The process of the pointing work are as follows. All the motor joint in a machinery are racked out to a depth of 10 to 15 mm with the help of the pointing tool. Then dust and the loose motor are thoroughly cleaned. Then the joint and the surface are washed with a clean water and kept wet for some time. Then motor is taken in a small pan and the joint are filled up with a small trowel by pressing it into the joint to form a close contact with the old motor joint. The joint are left flush sunk or raised depend on the requirement then the excess motor is scrapped away and then the finished work is cured for three to four days in case of a lime motor and 10 days when the cement motor is used the pointing work is classified based on the shape of the finishing which ultimately depend on the type of the machinery work nature of the building structures and the desired effect of the finish the various type of the pointing are as bedded pointing, flush pointing, recessed pointing, rubbed or groove pointing, tuck pointing, V pointing and weather or stuck pointing. Bedded type of pointing give a very good appearance but it is difficult to maintain. The rag joint are filled up with the motor and finish flush with the face of the wall and then bed is formed by a steel rod having a concave edge in the middle of the joint. In flush type of pointing, joint are ragged and they are finished flush with the face of the brick machinery. The edge are properly trimmed. It is the simplest type of the pointing which is extremely used in the machinery work. The pointing does not give a good appearance but it is very durable and it does not allow dust and dirt to lodge over it. In races type of the pointing, motor is kept vertically but inside the wall surface with the help of the suitable tool. This type of pointing is suitable for the facing work of a good texture brick and superior quality motor. In rubbed or groove type of the pointing, the rack joint are filled up flush with the face of the wall and semicircular notch are formed by a special tool. This type of pointing is commonly used. It improves the appearance of the wall. In tuck type of the pointing, the motor is pressed inside the joint and finished flush with the face of the wall. When motor is still wet, a rectangular groove is formed at the center of the joint. This groove is filled with the white lime putty or a small quantity of a silver sand. By keeping it slightly projecting outside the finished surface of a pointing plaster. This type of pointing gives an attractive appearance but the fillet part is not very durable. In V type of the pointing, either a V shaped groove are engraved in the finished surface of the pointing plaster when it is still wet or by projecting a V shape of the pointing face outside the wall surface. In weathered or a stuck type of the pointing, the face of pointing is not kept vertical but it is kept inclined. The upper edge of the pointing plaster is pressed inside the machinery by about 10 mm and the lower edge is finished level with the face of the machinery. This type of pointing is mostly used for the brickwork, particularly for finishing a horizontal joint.